friend, please. Please, have a seat. Now, I'm sure we can do a better welcome than that to Elon Musk <laughs> in Saudi Arabia. There you Thank go. You. That's, that's the spirit. Thank you. Elon, my dear friend, we're honored to have President Trump. We're honored under the sponsorship and guidance of His Royal Highness to celebrate a U.S.-Saudi and a Saudi-U.S. Re relationship that is 92 years old about how we move from an oil-based economy to an innovation-based economy powered by wonderful technologies that definitely you're one of the pioneers in this industry. We just showed to His Royal Highness some of your Optimus robots yeah. and to President Trump. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Tell me about them. Uh, yes, uh, so we just uh, showed the, several of our Tesla Optimus robots to His Highness and President Trump. And I think they were very impressed. Um, in fact, one of our robots did the Trump dance, which I thought was pretty cool. The YMCA, yeah? Yeah, to YMCA. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, our robots can dance, they can walk around, they can interact. Um, I think we're, we're headed to uh, a radically different world. I think a, a, I think a, a good world, an interesting world. Um, my prediction, actually, for humanoid robots is that Ultimately, there will be uh, tens of billions. Um, I, I think everyone will want to have their personal robot. You can think of it like uh, as though you had your own personal C-3PO or R2-D2, or, but even better. Then who wouldn't want to have their own personal C-3PO or R2-D2? That would be pretty great. Um, and uh, I, I also think it, it unlocks an immense amount of economic potential, because when you, you think about like, what is the output of an economy, it is productivity per capita times population or capita. The, uh, once you have humanoid robots, the actual economic output potential is tremendous. Uh, it's, it's really unlimited. Um, potentially, we could have an economy 10 times the size of the current global economy, where uh, no one wants for anything. Um, you know, sometimes in AI they talk about universal basic income. I think it's actually going to be universal high income, um, where anyone can have any goods or services that they want. Um, you know, a, a, a science fiction book recommendation that I have, which I think is probably the best envisioning of an AI future, is. Uh, the, the, the culture books by Ian Banks. Uh, very highly recommended um, for a uh, non dystopian view of the future. Um, now, there, there obviously are some risks, you know, um, which illustrate perhaps the, if we don't do this right, you know, you could have like a James Cameron sort of movie, um, you know, Terminator. Um, we don't want that one. Um, but, uh, but having sort of a Star Trek future would be great, where we're out there exploring the stars, discovering the nature of the universe, um, and, um, and a level of prosperity and hopefully happiness that we uh, can't quite imagine yet. So I'm, I'm very excited about the future and uh, very glad to be here. Thank you for having me. It's our absolute pleasure. Yeah. And His Royal Highness was talking to you about his vision and his dream to yeah. increase productivity for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and power up the region and the whole yeah. world with robotics, but also on robo-taxis. So how are we doing on robo-taxis? Uh, yeah, so really you can think of a car or future cars as being robots on four wheels. And, um, you know, I think uh, it would be very exciting to have autonomous vehicles here in the Kingdom. Indeed. If you're amenable. You heard it here from Elon. He's bringing <laughs> his robo-taxi to the kingdom. Yeah. Um, he has another announcement that he's yes, going to share ex later. Exactly. So, and I'd, I'd also like to, to uh, thank the kingdom for approving Starlink for maritime and aviation use. Thank maritime you. Maritime and aviation. There you so, go. There you go. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, so you're think... going to bring us robots to help us increase our productivity. Yeah. Robo-taxis to make sure that our cars and assets 
turn to turn into a cash generating unit yeah. and Starlink Starlink to reform our aviation and maritime. Yeah. Talk about XAI. Uh, absolutely. And but I should want to mention also uh, something that may be worth considering is tunnels. Tunnels. Uh, the so boring I have, company. I, <laughs> I have this company called The Boring Company, uh, which sounds kind of boring, but it's uh, it's it literally bores tunnels. Um, and actually, uh, tunnels, in, in order to solve traffic, uh, you, you really need to go 3D uh, with roads. And by ha using tunnels, you can essentially create, create like, like a wormhole, like a, like a warp tunnel from one part of a city to another and alleviate traffic. And we're, we've actually already done this proof of concept in Vegas. So there are w working tunnels in, Ve in Las Vegas that you can use where um, that'll just, it feels like teleporting from one part of Vegas to another. So uh, I always say that, you know, my joke is like tunnels are underappreciated. You know, <laughs> um, you know it's a bit of a, yeah, not, not always a hit, but. Um, uh, so, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and then XAI uh, is uh, just trying to solve uh, general purpose artificial intelligence. The goal with XAI is to have a maximally truth-seeking AI. Um, and it's, it's important to be maximally truth-seeking AI in order to understand the universe. Mm -hmm. So the, the goal of XAI is understand the universe. Um, to understand, uh, you know, you know what, what is out there. Um, where is the universe going? Where did it come from? What questions? In fact, I think maybe the biggest thing is, what questions do we not know to ask? Like, I, once you know the question, the answer is usually the easy part. Um, so the goal of XAI is to help understand the universe and, um, yeah, that's, that's the goal. And, and, and it help people answer any questions along the way, of course, but, um, I mean, that's, that's my philosophy. My philosophy is a, one of curiosity just trying to understand the nature of reality. So I know you had a long day, but we also have the Honorable President and His Royal Highness Musaidi hitting the stage soon. Yes. So this is a historic day, a partnership about how we could join hands together as we have joined hands in the past 92 years on building a factor-based economy to help the world empower up 20% of the energy mix, which is very critical today mm -hmm. to the AI intelligence age the digital age and how we have reform, and with the intelligent age, and we could not be more appreciative of having a lifetime partner and a friend like you, Elon, to the kingdom. Thank you. Joining hands on XAI, Starlink, and robotics, and Tesla. Thank you so much on behalf of the whole right. kingdom. You. And we look forward to continuing the partnership.